Hey, what's up guys? So, this is my new videos. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. So, so I wanna, I'm gonna call this segment drinking wine and talking about relationships. I'm drinking a white wine. It's a Tobias One Maker selection and Chardonnay from 2015. And we're in 2017, so I'm in my bathroom. This is my studio. So I wanna talk about, it's, it's a funny thing, right? Uh, relationships, how do they work? What are relationships? So I guess a relationship is when two partners decide to take an oath to be loyal to each other and just look at each other and love each other and just be with each other and only only think about each other is it does it work like that because i really don't think so guys yeah we're humans and we tend to look at other people maybe not with intentions to do anything bad but we just look at other people. So we're going away from the topic I want to talk about. I want to talk about is, is your partner giving you 100% of themselves? Because most of the relationships you feel is always one-sided. You always feel you do most of the relationship for the other person or that the other person does it for you how does it work do you feel you're not giving enough do you feel you're not getting back enough hmm. enjoyable wine so this is what you gotta think about is it what are you giving your partner are you giving them time how many jobs do you have what are your hobbies does your partner give you time? What does your partner does? Does your partner works a lot? Do your partner has other responsibilities? Does your partner parties or weekends? That's what you gotta come towards understanding certain things, right? If your partner has two jobs, um, he kinda goes to school or he yeah, actually goes to school and has a job that's a really thing a really difficult thing because going to school it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of life out of you stress mostly stress because then they gotta do homework sorry guys then they gotta support themselves so they still gotta work and they still give you time you gotta really appreciate that because not everybody does it not everybody, not everybody is capable. And how much do you trust your partner? That's what comes down to, does your partner let you see their cell phone? It's actually um, really not a great idea sometimes because sometimes you have conversations with your friends that no, you don't want anybody to know. And if you let your partner check your friend all the time, I check your text messages all the time, it's not good either because you don't have any privacy. I believe it's important to have privacy between each other. So, you know, life works like that. You have to have your, your, your little privacy, your little points where you are able to just still have something for yourself and they should too because you don't want to know everything that's not good either because i'm not a partnership then you don't trust each other being in a relationship is about trusting each other does your girlfriend trust you does your boyfriend trust you think about it and why why your partner don't trust you What have you done in the past, recently? Have you been getting texts from other people? And that's another problem. Sometimes we go on Instagram and we tend to be like this, talking to them, just being like, oh yeah, look at that story. 
And sometimes we tend to look at other girls, you know, those girls that are like bikini models. Yeah. And what do we do? We swipe right, we swipe left. But we, that's what we do. That's how, as, as far as we go. But other people don't look at it like that. I guess they get jealous if, if we do that. I mostly look on my phone because I love myself too much. So I'm always posting Instagram stories. I'm always posting pictures of myself. But other people don't understand it like that. They always think you're after somebody. I, uh, in some cases you might be. So it's scary because you don't want to give 100% and then that person is not going to give you 100% back. It is going to feel like shit too. So you got to balance it out. You got to trust that person, but at the same time, don't give everything to that person. Because you don't want to get hurt in case they do something that is not going to make you happy. It's actually going to make you unhappy. Did that person love you? How much does that person love you? <laughs> do you love that person more than they love you? Or that person loves you more than you love them? How do you know that? That's the difficult part. So, I don't even know. That's the oh no. How do you know a person loves you more than you love them? I think that's easy to tell. You ask that person for something, they'll do 100% no matter what. But if that person asks you for something and you don't do it, that means you don't love them as much. That means you don't trust them as much. Or you just that kind of person. And they try to be distant from people and I get attached um, you don't want to get attached because you don't want to get disappointed or is it because you feel you don't have a, pu a future with that person or because that person is hiding something from you so it gets kind of tricky it's just a relationship is so much more than it looks like it's just like this bottle of wine this bottle of wine it just looks like a bottle with a liquid inside that is just a name, Chardonnay. But it's more complex. The whole process that goes inside this, it's a long process. It take, might take a year. It takes 100 days. It depends on the kind of wine and if it can grow old or not. So that's how a relationship is. And then it gets its flavor. And it gets its color. So... you get to enjoy it um being in a relationship is not easy guys by the way you have to give a lot you have to spend time you have to go through certain things with a person do you love that person enough to go through a certain process of life with them that's a real question that's the question you want to ask yourself are you willing to sacrifice your time because time is money time runs out what are you going to do? You know, time is something doesn't stop. So think about if you're willing to spend a lifetime with a person, with that person. If you trust that person and it's good to give that person something. Because you love that person in your own way too. Certain people love other people different. I, I know I do. I love my girlfriend a certain way. Um, she's not able to accept it because it's different from the kind of relationship she had before. And that's a whole new topic. But then, does it make you a mean person? I don't think so. So, just consider those kind of things, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, appreciate the love. Watch my next video. It will be up soon. Uh, subscribe, comment, like below. You know, send me any questions and I'll try to put them in my videos. Have a great day, guys. And it's always going to be a wine video. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day, guys. Peace.